Welcome to episode 10 of Parenting Unveiled. Today, we're diving into a vital aspect of parenting, effective communication techniques. Whether it's a toddler or a teenager, communicating well is key to understanding and connecting with our children. In this episode, we'll explore simple yet powerful ways to enhance communication with your children. We're talking about techniques that help you listen better, speak more clearly, and connect more deeply. In this episode, we'll cover four key topics. Part one, what are effective communication techniques? Part two, top seven tips for building communication foundations. Part three, top seven points on communication in practice. Part four, conclusion. Let's start with the part one. What are effective communication techniques? Effective communication techniques vary depending on the context and the goal of the communication. Some general techniques include active listening, clear and concise messaging, using appropriate body language, being empathetic, and adapting your communication style to the audience. Other techniques include asking open-ended questions, providing constructive feedback, and being mindful of your tone and nonverbal cues. Now, let's move on part two. Top seven tips for building communication foundations. Tip one, active listening skills. Active listening is crucial. It means really hearing what your child says and showing them you understand. Like nodding your head and repeating back what you heard to make sure you got it right. Tip two, open-ended questions. Open-ended questions encourage your child to share more than just yes or no. Ask things like, what was the best part of your day to get them talking? Tip three, body language. The meaning of body language is that much is conveyed even without words. Pay attention to your body language and facial expressions and also keep an eye on the emotions of your child. They often communicate more through expressions than words. Tip four, empathy and communication. Showing empathy means understanding their feelings. Say things like, that sounds really tough to show you get how they feel. Tip five, consistency and honesty. Be consistent and honest in your talks. This builds trust and makes your child more likely to open up. Tip six, respect their feelings. Respect your child's feelings even if you don't agree. This helps them feel safe sharing their thoughts and emotions with you. Tip seven, limit distractions. When you're talking, try to limit distractions like TV or phones. This shows your child they have your full attention. Let's come back to part three, top seven points on communication in practice. Point one, handling difficult conversations. Tough talks are part of life. Approach them calmly and with care. If it's about a mistake, focus on the learning, not just the error. Point two, appreciation and improvement in a positive way. Appreciation works like magic. Highlighting the good things they do, like helping out or trying hard, boosts confidence and communication. Point three, communicating boundaries clearly. Setting boundaries, be clear and firm about what's okay and what's not. Explain the reasons behind the rules. Point four, age-appropriate communication. Talk at their level. Use simpler words with young kids and more mature conversations with teens, always respecting their understanding. Point five, encouraging open dialogue. Create an environment where any topic is safe to discuss. Let them know they can talk to you about anything, anytime. Point six, respecting cultural differences. Help your child understand and respect cultural differences in communication styles, gestures, and norms. Point seven, using technology wisely. Teach your child to use technology responsibly in communication, emphasizing the importance of face-to-face -face interaction. What communication techniques have worked well for you and your family? Share your stories and tips in the comments. Your advice could be a great help to other parents. Now it's time for part four, conclusion. Effective communication is the bridge that connects us to our children's world. With these techniques, we hope you find new ways to strengthen that bond. Tune in next time for more parenting insights. Don't forget to subscribe and join our community conversation.